In a case number two, I want to share our experience uh, with uh, a patient with rapid expansion of the abdominal aortic aneurysm. This patient uh, initially was uh, is a 73 year old gentleman who um, was identified to have a 4.5 centimeter abdominal aortic aneurysm. Um, he was under our care uh, as a small abdominal aortic aneurysm uh, and was in a surveillance group uh, since it was 4.5 centimeter per guidelines. Uh, we were uh, imaging him every six months um, with a duplex ultrasound. Next slide, please. However, patient presented uh, three months later to uh, a network hospital with evidence of fever and uh, shortness of breath. And that CT scan of the chest, abdomen, pelvis essentially demonstrated that his aneurysm now was 5.4 centimeters, um, which uh, significantly increased. And patient was not due to uh, be seen by our service um, in uh, for the next uh, three months. So essentially in three month period, there was a, a nine millimeter increase in size. So that basically triggered uh, um, much faster consultation or return to the clinic uh, for further evaluation and, uh, uh, and a treatment. Next slide, please. Um, so upon identification of rapid expansion of the aneurysm that uh, really falls uh, outside of the uh, typical follow-up window, we basically brought patient back for urgent repair uh, and perform open repair since we already knew the anatomy of this patient and knew that uh, um, he had no uh, good anatomy for uh, endovascular repair, we perform open repair uh, on an urgent basis. 